hello everyone so today I am going to implement uh, blockable and non blockable attacks for enemies so here if they are going to do a non blockable attack uh, it will be indicated with the red indicator just like the yellow indicator for the blockable attack so that's a blockable attack that's why it was in yellow and if the enemy is going to do a non blockable attack we will see it in red so it is uh, they do it randomly so let's wait see now that's an unblockable attack so even though i am blocking my blocking or shield will be broken by the block of uh, non-blockable attack of the enemy so my player will be vulnerable for subsequent attacks if i don't go back to the blocking mode after my blocking is broken let's wait for uh, another non-blockable attack that's also blockable come on come on all right <laughs> so let me so by the end of the this video you will know everything in detail so here is the probability so if i make it one they will always do non-blockable attacks here is the let's see see okay see that's what i meant okay so i'll return it back to 0.5 okay so that's what we are going to work on today so before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patron page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit to the date there are closer to 2000 videos for each video project files are accessible and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing so you can watch all other episodes also in my channel i'll leave the link to the full tutorial series playlist in the description all right so let's get back to today's tutorial okay so right now all these uh, enemies are doing is they can block and they can do light attacks so the next step is giving them the ability to do heavy attacks so for that let's first go to AI and in this behavior tree we have the basically this part is regarding the attacks so let's add a sequence to make this behavior tree more clear so this would be attack sequence can i rename it sequence all right and then before the character do an attack here I want to randomly apply heavy attack gameplay effect to the character so that uh, character NPCs NPCs will randomly do heavy attacks so let me show you to explain that let me show you how the heavy attacks works for the player with the player input here we have the light attack so once we press the light attack which is left mouse button we apply this heavy attack gameplay effect and once we release the mouse button this heavy attack gameplay effect is cleared up but if i press and hold my input this will not clear out and when the gameplay ability attack ability is executed here i have this delay and check after 0.4 seconds if i still have the heavy attack effect i can check it by using this tag if we still have the heavy attack tag 
that means I am still holding my input so we will do a heavy attack instead of a light attack so let me show you how it works here now if I just press and release we are doing a light attack like this and if I press and hold here you can see we are doing heavy attacks so for that we need to press and hold uh, attack button okay now to give the same ability for enemies here let's create a new task pt task at, uh, i'll just blueprint play base as the parent pt task apply gameplay effect okay now here let's override receive execute ai and on the pawn we can get ability system component and apply gameplay effect to self and finish execute with success now i'll promote this to variable and can we validate this if we do have a valid class i will apply it otherwise i will just skip the applying part and still finish execute so now as i said let me make this public so that we can set whatever the class that we need to apply when we call this uh, blueprint task and i want to apply this with a probability so here let's add a branch and let's get a random float in range so between 0 and 1 and let's check if the generated value is less than well I'll choose less than or equal to a value so this value I'll promote as probability by default probability would should be one that means almost that means always this gameplay effect will be applied otherwise if we change it to something less than one there is a chance this effect will not be applied okay now here apply gameplay effect so i'll set the name of the node to heavy attack and i'll select the class g e heavy attack oh this becomes long can we collapse this no ah, it's fine and for testing purposes i'll leave this as one and see if they can do heavy attacks no why not so actually it's not working because here this applied gameplay effect only last for 0.7 seconds but in the attack sword ability here if it is an npc character we notify the attack then wait for 0.3 seconds then do the attack animation wait for four seconds so by this time the gameplay effect is not there so what we can do is either 
increase in this time or maybe duplicate this heavy attack and increase the time for the heavy attack applied for npcs or we can perhaps make this 0.2 seconds now that will reduce reduce the time between the notifier and the time player would have to react but let's see if it if it is reasonable if it is then we can leave it like that all right no it's not it's not enough so this one let's create a child blueprint heavy attack and pc so this value i'll make it like 1.5 and let's apply that here now it should have enough time let's see wait what so why does it take a bit more time after applying the effect see he applied effect then it takes it actually actually takes a long time to do the attack for some reason let's try point two let's try two I'm not sure what causes the delay. Let's see if it works. Yeah, I thought it's enough. Okay, but still, I'm not clear why. It takes two seconds after applying this gameplay effect and then execute this. That is, I'm not really sure why. Does it have? No, I don't think so. Okay, anyway, now this is working. So the next thing is I need to in have an indicator a separate indicator so here we have this some effect that says uh, notify notify attack this one here we play this gameplay effect this particle effect in yellow that's a blockable attack indicator so i'll duplicate that and rename it non-blockable and i'll make this simply red like this Okay, now here let me edit this notify attack and an in input is purple and then here let's select the particle effect based on blockable or non-blockable if it is blockable we can use blockable particle effect otherwise not blockable all right and i call this in my attack sword here so i use this part to detect if it is a blockable attack or non-blockable attack 
so I can simply connect it here and since this part is executed only for NPC players it should it will not cause any problems for the player all right let's see now if everything is working correctly we should see the attack indicator in red why is it not coming okay it's coming uh, it was still yellow but he's doing a unblockable attack why is it yellow all right here actually we check if it is a heavy attack this becomes true if it is a heavy attack and here is blockable if it is true oh so this has to be changed i rename it is non-blockable and then we can interchange this non blockable if it is true blockable if it is false all right okay let's just let me have multiple enemies easy for testing yeah i saw the indicator in red see okay now let's make it with the probability so uh, let's say 0.5 so half the time it would be blockable half the time non-blockable so we should see both type of attacks now yeah that's a blockable attack that's a non-blockable attack heavy attack right so that's all i want to do for today i think now that i have non-blockable attacks on enemies so maybe next time we should implement a way to evade or maybe dodge by rolling or jumping back or something like that in the next episode so thanks for watching as always updated for project files will be available for the download in Patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye